Hey guys, thanks for joining today. Uh, we're going to do a quick start guide on Autel's Dragonfish. Uh, you'll notice this is a little different from a quadcopter. This is a VTOL, uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It's got a great set of use cases and we're going to show you guys how to put it together. Uh, so today I'm going to start with the tail first. So the tail comes with this nice rubber cap on it. So all I'm going to do is pop that off, throw it back in the case, make sure I know where it's at. And then we are just going to slide this into the rear of the aircraft. So as I do that, I want to not make sure to push down onto the aircraft. What I'm going to do is just stabilize it with my hand here. That way it doesn't move away from me on the table. So hand here and then I'm just going to grab this and this is a very well built aircraft uh, obviously don't uh, manhandle it but you can put a good amount of force into this aircraft so I'm just going to slide that right in it's going to click in and then you'll notice there's two clips there's bottom and top here um, you want to make sure that those are uh, fully back to their resting position uh, I can feel the bottom one is good here with my finger but the top one has a little depression in it so all I'm going to do is click that back out and put it back in and now I've got flush on both my top and bottom um, caps there. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I am going to uh, start putting the wings on. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my aircraft here uh, so I can utilize the full length of the table. I'm going to start with my left wing. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and line this up. Uh, fairly simple here. Uh, square peg into a square hole and round peg into a round hole. So I'm just gonna line that up and you will quickly be able to tell if you have the wing on the wrong side of the aircraft and line that up. That's gonna slide in nice and easy on this side. And then this latch, uh, fairly simple design. You're just gonna find the, the hook there. Go ahead and latch that down. There you go, just like that. And then you're gonna throw this cap back down on top of that latch. So this cap will not close fully if this latch is not secured properly. So that's one of the safety features of this aircraft. So we'll throw that back down, make sure that's nice and flush. Now you'll notice, obviously the aircraft is going to be weighted to one side now. So I can let this just rest here on the table. If I'm outside or on concrete uh, or uh, in a, you know, on top of a table outside where there's a lot of wind, I will probably want someone to stabilize this side while I put the other wing on but in here on my carpeted table, uh, I feel perfectly fine uh, letting this rest on the table. So I'll go ahead and get my second wing here. And I'm gonna let that rest there. And my second wing, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pop this up and find my alignment and slide that right on. Again, I don't wanna push down on the aircraft when I'm putting force on it. I just want to grab it from this side so I have good leverage to get that into the aircraft. So uh, this last little gap here, uh, no big deal if you can't push it in all the way. This latch is going to help you secure the rest of that. So as I'm closing the latch, it's going to pull that wing in nice and snug. And then I've got my top latch and now I am good to go. So next what I'm going to do is work on my payload. So I'm just going to maneuver the aircraft a little bit to my advantage so I can reach it. Come around the side here. So uh, first and foremost, I'm going to get my payload ready. So I'm going to take off this cap and again, make sure I keep that in my case. And then I'm going to remove the dust cover from the top of my payload. So you'll notice there's a little black button here. So all I'm going to do is depress that and then I'm able to slide my dust cover uh, right off. And then next, I'm going to go for my dust cover on the underside of the aircraft and no button there. I'm just going to twist and pull that right off. Uh, now, what is really nice is that this dust, both dust covers can actually click together. And that way I know I'm not going to lose them. They're both together in one place. And that goes, of course, back into the case. So next, I'm going to go ahead and pop my payload on. So black button, I'm going to want facing towards me. And you'll be able to see, uh, much like many of the payloads that we work with, there's going to be two small holes, one large hole. So I'm going to line up those large holes so I know I'm in line. Red dot to red dot. 
and get my payload on, and then I'm going to twist to lock. Now, when I just twisted that uh, to lock it in, I heard a click, and I can see and feel that that black button is now back to its resting position. Uh, that means that it is locked in fully all the way, and what I'm gonna do is just do a nice gentle rotation on the top of that payload to make sure that it is secured to the aircraft. So, now that that's good to go, I'm gonna rotate my aircraft again one more time, and we'll go ahead and set these batteries in. So on the bottom of the battery, you're gonna see where the connections are. Uh, make sure you look inside and that you're going in in the proper direction. Uh, they are shielded uh, by some plastic shrouds, but of course we don't want to jam the battery down in the wrong way to protect those contacts. So I'm gonna gently set that in, and then my other payload, make sure my contacts are good, um, and set that in there as well. So. Uh, again, especially with the batteries, because this is where this is going to occur the most, uh, I do not want to push down on my landing gear. Uh, like I said, this landing gear is very sturdy, but um, over time, the more and more I press down on the aircraft, uh, the more and more I wear those out and a chance for those to break. So I'm just going to put my fingers underneath, and I'm just going to uh, latch this battery down and in. And I just want to make sure that I hear the click from these buttons. Uh, so you'll see now that that is flush, uh, same thing with the tail wing. We just want to make sure we feel that latch is very flush there on both sides. Come around to my rear battery, click that in as well. And just like that with one click, I've got flush on both sides and now my aircraft is ready to be powered. Uh, but before I do that, uh, there are these plastic caps, uh, that keep the, um, uh, rotors here from moving freely in the case. Uh, if they do move freely in the case, there's a chance that they could get closed wrong inside the case. So it's really nice that they gave us these little plastic caps uh, and they're super easy. Uh, we call them rockers because all you got to do, rock it to one side and it's going to come straight off. That's going to go back in the case along with our second rocker here. So just pop that right off. Now these can move freely and we're good to go. Throw those back in the case and we're ready to fly. Last thing you gotta do before you fly, is take that pitot tube um, cover off and should be good to go. Thanks for joining guys. Uh, hope this helps you out and please feel free to reach out if you have any more questions about this aircraft or anything else that we may be able to help you out with.